Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, I've learned about expressions and symbols in Julia. So expressions and symbols are usually used for when you are creating or when you are dealing with meta programming and macros. So a meta program is a program or the concept of creating a program or a code that modifies and creates other programs. Okay, so and then macro is just like a function, like function like macros so let's see how to create a symbol so a symbol is there are two methods of creating a symbol the first one is to use the code operator and then your value like this so if i let's say our first symbol symbol one let's go to b e. so if i this is how a symbol is created so we're having the code operator and your value so if i check the type of it type of symbol one it's going to tell me that it is a symbol so a symbol Symbols are usually like strings, but they are usually just like the name in English. It's usually used to represent something, to represent a variable in meta programming. So that I'm, the next method of creating a symbol is to use let's say same two. Second method of creating a symbol, then capital S for symbol, and then we put our character there. So let's say we have A, right? So this is the second method of creating a symbol. So if I check the type of it, type of is going to tell me that it is a symbol. So somebody says, what is the difference between a symbol and a string? So this is this is the best explanation. For example, if I have a word like hello, and then another word hello, although they are the same words, one is a string, this one is a string, and this one is an identifier, or just like a symbol or a variable. So if I evaluate it, it will tell me that it's undefined. So if I evaluate this, the one on the right, the identifier, it's going to give me undefined because it's not attached to any value. It's not representing anything. But if I go with eval of the of the string itself of hello, it's usually strings evaluate themselves. So if I go with Hello is going to bring the same word. Hello, that is the concept about a string. So strings evaluate themselves, but identifiers have to be attached to a variable. It should represent something. So that is the concept about a symbol. So for example, if I equate the hello like this, which is the identifier, to something like hola, the hola, right? Or hello, hola, uh, Spanish for hello, right? And then I evaluate this hello because it has been attached to this identifier or a variable, it is now representing it, so it's now like a symbol. So it's going to give me the hola. The same if I do eval in the actual symbol format of hello, it's still going to give me the hola. So that's the concept about a symbol. So it's only used to represent a variable when you are doing meta programming. So let's see expressions, which is also like the big brother of symbols. <laughs> okay, so an expression is like this. The expressions. So there are four methods of creating an expression. The first method, yes, one, is to bring the code operator that is a symbol, and then your values. So let's say I have a then b. So that is going to be my first expression. So if I check type uh, type of type of right of this ex1 is going to tell me that it is an expression see that it's telling me that's an expression so that is the first method of creating an expression the next method is to use something like this to use to pass the value just like we learned in other ways pass and then let's make it like es2 expression 2 we are passing it to we are passing our values so let's say a let's make it c plus d right so this is our second expression so if i check type of it yes two is going to tell me that it is an expression then the next method is to use the code operator itself which is an inbuilt function so we go with es3 Let's go to quotes, right? 
this is the quote then quote and end so i'll put my values here let's see x e plus f e plus f then the end so this is quote so if i check the same thing like type of it it tell me that it is an expression so that's the third method of creating an expression so the final method is to see the component of an expression so there are three components of an expression to find the component of an expression we go with dump then let's say let's use something like the first one yes two so it's going to dump all of them for us so that you know what it is it contains three components the head the argument and the type so with the same method like this we can create an expression so how do you do it es4 this expression for the four, first four, four format is espr expression then it takes the code symbol or the symbol call and then the operator the, the argument the symbol the first argument and then you can go with the second argument which is a symbol of the x and then the next argument is let's see y right so that's how to create it so it's going to create an expression for us so if i check the type of it yes four see that's an expression so thank you for watching so all these things will help you when you are creating a, a macro or when you are creating it when you are doing meta programming so these are usually the main component and then these ones usually help you to when you are doing repetitive repetitive or multiple tax so thank you for watching and then if you have any questions or contributions you can put it inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit and please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed